Hey everybody, my name is Nick Shalom, I'm the former Air Force and Space Force Chief Software Officer and also the founder of Assage. Today in this video we're going to do a deep dive to see how we can use uh, Assage to analyze a massive amount of data. In this use case we're going to be focusing on human resources and how Assage can help us don't select candidates and compare uh, skills and see what's a good fit potentially uh, for a specific job description. But this could also be used to actually create the job description, but also uh, create criteria of selection. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do here is create a data set where we're going to be able to ingest uh, those resume that we receive from a, a job application for a Java developer that we're going to be using here as a fake use case. Um, so first I just created this uh, data set. I called it uh, Nick Demo Resume just for the test here. And the first thing I'm going to do is ingesting uh, a couple of resumes. We got seven resumes uh, today uh, for this uh, job. It could obviously be 200, doesn't matter. So of course we have an API, so you don't have to manually do this. You could do it automatically. We could also ingest with a zip file. But here, uh, just to show you, I'm going to go uh, through a, a couple of examples just to show you how I ingest those resume into Assage and then you're going to be able to see how that's uh, analyzed and what kind of prompt I'm using to be able to grade them against the job description. So the, the first thing I'm going to do is use the ingest file content plugin and uh, because the resume is already OCR, I don't need to go here and use OCR IRAS. Uh, so we're going to just use auto and I'm going to uh, simply uh, pick uh, the first the couple of resumes and uh, we're going to start uh, with uh, this uh, resume here and uh, I will put a couple of uh, uh, metadata here. I'm going to put resume of uh, and the name and then I'm going to make sure that we pick the right um, data set here and we're going to submit. Alright, so you generated my prompt. I'm going to submit it here and uh, it's going to cut it into chunks. It's asking me if I want to train the chunks into the data set. I'm going to say yes. And uh, now that's trained. It's asking me if I want to summarize because it's only one chunk. I don't need to do that. So I'm going to just cancel. All right, so I just ingested the first resume and I'm going to do this for the other resumes. And because you don't want to have to uh, wait for me to do this, we're going to accelerate and uh, do this uh, so you uh, don't have to wait. All right, so of course you could also have used uh, Assage with the, the plugins to tap into databases. So something like SharePoint, something like uh, MySQL, Elastic, Postgres, doesn't matter. We have plugins to connect to those. So instead of uh, ingesting the data and be stale, you could actually have a resume database and the bot could easily uh, query that instead of ingesting it uh, manually. All right, so our data set is ready. I manually ingested the files again. We could have done a zip file. We could have done uh, an, the API calls automated. We could have used a database, but I just kept it simple here. Uh, the ingest plugin was able to read the PDFs and ingest the data into the data set. Now I can use the prompt engineering uh, to query the data set and extract insights. So uh, first we're going to select the, the data set here. Uh, so that's the first step. All right, so let's look at the first prompt I have here. All I have is this job description for a Java developer. So uh, we have the, the different skills required, uh, you know, both uh, ex experience and, and degrees, although I don't believe in degrees, so uh, don't do that in your job descriptions, particularly for software teams. You don't need that. You need expertise, not uh, degrees and paperware. So here you have all the different requirements. And then I ask, you know, from my data set, find uh, the top three best candidate that would be best suited for the job. Let's see what, what happens when we start there. And because we want to have a lot of room, we're going to use Jupyter432K here to be able to give us all the insights we need and tap into all the items of the data set to be able to extract as much data as we can. All right, so it did the job. It gave us uh, the top three candidates and giving us all the insights as to why. And uh, that's an interesting uh, three candidates uh, 
that all have you know some experience here in, in Java so that's one way to do it but now let's look at a, a better way to do it on a per resume basis so we will automate that with a, an agent uh, a plugin to loop through all the resumes entry we have in the data set and generate this uh, um, query here so uh, this prompt and so here is my prompt again I'm gonna have the same job description but this time I'm gonna copy the resume inside of that prompt so let's take a look so we have the job description and then we have the resume that we ingested and then at the end of that I have uh, for each of the job description requirements grade the candidate based on qualifications and information provided so let's see what that does all right, so we see that for each of the qualification, it's saying if it's uh, qualified or not qualified, and, and uh, you could ask you know, to qualify with the grades like A, B, C, 2F, or, or qualified or not qualified. Uh, but here it's interesting how uh, it's listing you know, all the information. So it's, it's showing that it has a bachelor, but not a four year degree. Um, so that's, that's an interesting way to, to see whether or not the uh, resume is detailing that experience or not. So that's one resume, let's try now with a, another one. All right, so I, uh, again, same same prompt. Okay, of course we can automate this with a prompt uh, a template and uh, a plugin, so we could do that for you uh, in, in, in five minutes. Uh, but I wanna show you the, the behind the scene here so you can see what's going on. So again, a different resume this time, and let's uh, take a look at the answers. All right, so this time, uh, again, we tweak a little bit and we see the grades A, B, C, Ds. Um, so here, again, this time, much better candidate because uh, uh, he's getting much better grades. And uh, again, you can see how the bot is sharing with you all the logic as to um, whether or not the candidate is meeting uh, specific requirements or has specific skills. And uh, again, it's, it's showing you if is if is mentioning uh, information about you know specific uh, um, skills like Unix here, he doesn't mention it in the resume, so it gives a, a C grade because it's just not mentioned. Um, so again, that's a great way to assess and grade a candidate. Now you could also use the bot with a different kind of prompt and simply copy your job description. First, you could use the bot to write your job description, and it's doing a great job at doing that based on the. Uh, the skills and what you're trying to build. So if you give it a little bit of context as to uh, what you need, it's going to do a great job creating the job description in, in seconds. I, I've used it before for our Sage uh, job descriptions. But here, um, I'm asking actually uh, from this job description, what will be the top five criteria of selection for such a candidate? And let's see uh, what the bot thinks would be the best way to uh, select uh, the right uh, candidate for this job. All right, so it's showing, of course, Java and web development experience, software lifecycle uh, expertise, and Unix in this case, and agile principle, and of course, the, the degree that I don't think you need, but uh, was in the job description here uh, that we use. So again, that's a great way also for you to create uh, a list of uh, criteria to select, and then you could actually use that list in your next prompt to ask to grade the candidate against those five uh, criteria of selection and, and and use that instead of a, a longer list if you want it so again it's all about pump engineering it's all about how you use it but we wanted to show you a great way to not just use the bot to generate content but in this case to extract insight extract information and be able to showcase that so that you can make better decisions and augment the human process so you can not only have a better understanding of why you're uh, making that decision but also have better insights to make that decision maybe faster but also more uh, accurately with less bias now we're going to do uh, a last example here uh, but i'm going to say for my data set find the top three uh, i'm going to stop five best candidate in order of um a, a selection that would be best suited for the job um, showing uh, uh, listing them in a table uh, with the various criteria of selection 
So here, as you can see, because I asked for a table, it's showing me the different criteria and showing, you know, what's mentioned, what's not mentioned. So again, in two seconds, I was able to analyze, you know, what would have taken probably, you know, half a day to put together, extract, uh, be able to analyze this in seconds. Again, the beauty of assay to ingest this kind of volume of data securely, safely with PII, PHI, CUI, and do it at scale as an enterprise solution is a game changer. The time saved is tremendous. If you have any questions, uh, please reach out to us either on Discord, uh, but you can also send us an email at sales at assage.ai. Thanks so much for watching.